Two triangles are similar if they have the same shape, but are not necessarily the same size. In this video, we will look at the properties of similar triangles, different ways to test if two triangles are similar, and some situations where you might expect to see similar triangles. Here are two similar triangles. Similar triangles have two properties. All three corresponding angles are the same. In this case, each triangle has the same three angles, A, B and C. All three corresponding sides are proportionate. In this case, the small triangle has sides A, B and C. The large triangle has sides 2A, 2B and 2C. Each side on the larger triangle is twice the length of the corresponding side on the small triangle. So the sides are proportionate. We could check for similarity by comparing every side and every angle. That would work, but it is unnecessary. In fact, we only need to check that both triangles have two angles that are the same, and that means that the two triangles must be similar. This is called the AA rule. It works because when we choose two angles of a triangle, the shape is fixed. We can change the size, but we can't change the shape without changing the angles. This is also sometimes called the AAA rule, because for two similar triangles, all three angles are the same. But of course the angles in a triangle add up to 180. So if two of the angles are the same, then the third angle must also be the same. So we only need to check two angles. We will prove this in a later video, see the link below. There is a second alternative rule that we can use to check if two triangles are similar. If two triangles have three sides that are proportionate, they must be similar. This works because there is only one way to fit three lines together to make a triangle. When the lengths of the three lines are known, the angles are fixed. If we change the lengths of the lines by equal proportions, the angles don't change, so the triangles remain similar. We will prove this in a later video, see the link below. Two right angled triangles are similar if one other angle is known. This of course is because the right angle serves as a second known angle. So in this case both triangles have angle A, and they both also have an angle of 90 degrees, so they are similar by the AA rule. We will look at a few examples of similar triangles. The first example is equilateral triangles. All equilateral triangles are similar. This is because they all have three angles of 60 degrees, so they are all similar by the AA rule. Parallel lines can sometimes create similar triangles that aren't always obvious. This diagram shows two parallel lines, BC and DE. The diagonal lines DA and EA form two triangles. There is a small triangle ABC in cyan, and also a larger triangle ADE in green. These two triangles are similar. This is due to the rules of angles around parallel lines. The angles B and D are corresponding angles. Corresponding angles form a characteristic F shape, although in this case the F is upside down. Corresponding angles are equal, so angles B and D are equal. Angles C and E are also corresponding angles. Again we see the F shape. This means that angles C and E are also equal. Since the two triangles have two equal angles, they are similar by the AA rule. Here is a slightly different situation. This time the two triangles are formed from two parallel lines and a pair of crossing lines. They are also similar triangles. The angles at B and D are alternate angles. They form a characteristic Z shape. Alternate angles are equal, so angles B and D are equal. 
Andal C and E are also alternate handles, though this time the Z shape is reversed. So Andal C and E are equal. The triangles have two equal angles, so again they are similar by the AA rule. Here is another situation where we know two angles of each triangle. This is a little tricky because at first glance they might not seem like similar triangles. There is a clue though. The fact that they both have an angle of 70 degrees tells us that they might possibly be similar. In this case it is useful to calculate the missing angles. For triangle ABC the two known angles are 70 degrees and 60 degrees. Of course the angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. B and C add up to 130, so we know that angle A must be 50 degrees. This means that angle A equals angle E. And we already know that angle C equals angle F. So the triangles are similar by the AA rule. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe or visit graphicmaths.com. The link is in the description below.